Hey guys, I want to go over three potential free agent targets for the Yankees in 2023. I know it's a little early. I'll get into this more detail at some point. I'll do my free agent predictions. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that stuff. Um, and obviously, if you like the content, hit the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss stuff. But uh, two, I'm going to give you two starting pitchers and one uh, position player. And uh, I think there are prime good targets thing as well as the Yankees. I mean, there's, there's some uncertainty next year. Just, there's a good chance that... Uh, um, Joey Gallo won't be back. It's an uncertain situation right now. Aaron Judge and on the pitching side, Jamison Tyone um, is up. We don't know if the Yankees are going to re-sign him. Maybe they will. They, they probably should. And um, you know, Luis Severino is on an option year next year. So there's there's some holes that needs to be filled. So that's why I want to go over two guys on the pitching side. One of them is Joe Musgrove. He was actually tr uh, traded to the Padres, right-handed pitcher. He's going to be uh, entering his 30-year-old season next year. He's an unrestricted free agent. So, and give the Yankees some pitching depth. I'm of the opinion that even if they re-sign Jamison Tyon, that they should also re-sign. Uh, oh, they should also bring in the starting pitcher one way or another anyway. So, Joe Musco represents one of them. And Zach Eflin, young pitcher, who's going to be 28 next year from the Phillies. And he's just the type of pitcher. He's got, like, just around a little under 500 and, and mid fours ERA. Just the type of pitcher that uh, Matt Blake can do a good job with. He is kind of um, of the uh, Jamison Tyon. Jameson Tyone mold with similar stats and stuff like that. So perfect project for um, Matt Blake. And I think Musgrove's a little bit more polished, a little bit further ahead. But he'd be another one, another great one to, uh, to potentially bring here with um, to replace a pitcher or just to boost the starting pitching rotation one way or another. There's still, I mean, Nestor Cortez still needs to build up his innings. I'm, I'm still worried about Luis Severino's health at some point. So there's question marks in the Yankees' rotation. I think these two guys are probably the best fits to help um, – Address that. And on the positional side, Andrew Benatendi, left-handed contact hitter from the Kansas City Royals. He used to be, through, uh, used to be with the uh, Red Sox. He's a young, dynamic player. Again, he's a left. He's a good contact hitter. And with the uncertain status of Gallo and maybe even Judge, um, might be worth entertaining him. And again, he brings that lefty bat. He brings good contact kills. He brings good defense in the outfield. He brings good speed and good base running. So that type of player to put into the Dylan Lawson system. And he's a gamer. He's a gamer, so, you know, and I'm impressed with what I see with the Yankees already, but he's another guy that fits that mold that could really, really help take this team up or pick this team up. So let me know what you think. I just want to go over these three. I think they're appealing options, and um, there's some other guys. I'll go, and again, I'll go over the more in-depth free agent list and at some point, when, especially when options are not exercised, we'll have a more um, in-depth idea of who the free agents are going to be. But these three, to me, stand out like at, two, at three obvious targets for the Yankees that I think could help make them better. So give me your input. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later.